Hello, everybody. If you're watching this video, you're probably one of two people. You're either one of my subscribers, which if you are, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for always being here. I appreciate it. Or two, you're someone who is searching for hair system information and you came across this video, in which case, again, to you as well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I am, as you probably could tell by the subject of this video, wearing a hair system. This is it. I've been wearing it for about a, a month and a half now, and I really enjoy it. I like I like it. Uh, if you haven't seen my original video where I decided to get the hair system and show the whole process, you can uh, check that out up here. Definitely check that out. Get more information about that, about someone who's never gotten a hair system getting it for the first time. Uh, but this video is about some stuff that not necessarily that I wish I had known before I got in the hair system, but stuff that I didn't know before I got my hair system. And specifically stuff that I had to buy, hidden costs, if you will, that I didn't know about before it. So we're it's not going to be a long video, but we're going to go through some stuff that you're going to have to spend some money on, especially if you're a person who's been wearing their hair very short for a long period of time, or if you were just bald, kept your hair uh, completely bald before getting a hair system. Actually, before we start, let me get some props, things to show you while I'm talking about them. Hold on. So the first thing that you're going to want to get after getting a hair system that if you've been balding for a long time, if you've kept your hair short, you probably don't have. If you've got a wife or a girlfriend that you live with, you might have one of these available to you. Um, and that's gonna be the case with some a lot of this stuff, but a hairbrush, specifically a big wide hairbrush with these little knobby things on it. This is going to be great for the hair system because you don't want to get in there deep and pull all of the hair out of whatever base you have in your hair system. This is going to be a little bit more gentle. You just sort of run it through your hair. Uh, these are nice and flexible. I got this maybe for $4 or something at uh, Family Dollar. So get one of these definitely you don't want to wash your hair system every single day maybe once a week at the most but you do want to condition your hair system um, and so having this will allow you to put in that leave-in conditioner and then brush it through while you're styling it great segue jacob the next thing is leave-in conditioner this is something you probably want to apply uh, once a day or once every couple days in your hair system because the natural oils that are on your head aren't necessarily being distributed to the hairs in the hair system, especially if you have a base that is uh, like a poly thin skin or one of those plastic ones that isn't a netting that allows the, the oils to come through. So a leave-in conditioner, this one is a Walmart version of a more expensive one. Um, called uh, it's a 10 but this is called complete 10 uh, this works great I don't necessarily like the way it smells but it smells clean and I usually would just like pump a bunch into my hands and then run it through the hair and then brush it through so I know it gets to all of the hairs so have something like this by the way all this stuff I'm talking about I'll have links to uh, the Amazon where you can buy this stuff down in the description below. They are affiliate links, so I'll get a little bit, but they're not going to cost you any extra if you use one of those. Um, and then you can also see exactly what I'm using. So we've got the hairbrush, we've got the leave-in conditioner, a hair dryer. Now this isn't absolutely necessary, but I, I will say if you're taking a shower with your hair system on and you're not taking it off, you do want to dry your hair. Um, it's going to help with styling depending on how you style your hair, but also you don't want the water just sitting in there underneath the base, uh, you know, like eroding away at the adhesive. It's going to cause you to have to reapply the, the adhesive and the hair system uh, much sooner. So having a hair dryer will help out a lot. This one is a Remington. It's super simple. If you, you, you probably don't need anything really fancy. And if you've, if you're, uh, I don't I hate to generalize, but if you're a guy and you haven't had longer or you have had really short hair for a long time, you don't need anything fancy. This one has three speeds, three temperatures, a cool mode, and it's got uh, like a diffuser distributor on the front. It came with a few other attachments, but I got this on Amazon for, I think, less than $20. So 
hair dryer came in handy because I don't want you don't want to let water just sit in there. Something else I picked up for this is uh, this Beard Brand sea salt spray. This stuff is really great because it comes with this little pump, and if you're if you haven't washed your your hair system in a, in a few days and you want to go out and look good, you can spray this all over it. It'll get it wet, but then you just sort of mess it up, and it gives you that like beachy look. Uh, the spice citrus is not my favorite scent, but they've got like 10 different scents. Um, this is, I think, about $18 or $20, but it's lasted me a while, and I really like what it does to the hair, and it's super easy to use. So you could use any hair product you want, but those are a few that I use. Um, now, on to the maintenance type stuff. So the adhesive on your hair system is not going to last forever. It'll last, depending on how much you sweat and how active you are and that kind of stuff. I am uh, a sweaty person, I sweat a lot. I have a lot of oils that come from the top of my head. And so I have to reapply my hair system maybe about once a week, depending on how diligent about it I am. But when I did it, the first time I did it, I used this stuff, Walker Tape Ultra Hold. Now this stuff, is strong and this is what was used when I got my hair system initially installed but it's not easy to use not easy to work with it's because it's so thick and so viscous it strings up and it's difficult to use and and you have to apply it to your head and let it dry and so I stopped using this stuff <laughs> the other thing too is that it I found that it didn't last as long because I sweat so much for me for other people, this stuff will last multiple weeks before they have to reapply. But for me, I didn't like this stuff. What I use instead is this. This is just a bag of tape made by the same brand, Walker. This is Walker Ultra Hold Tape. I got these little curved ones because for the hairline, it's really convenient. They also sell it in rolls that's just straight tape. Um, you can also get thicker, I mean thicker, wider strips that have holes in them that let you allow it to breathe a little bit more. So the tape has been great for me, not only because um, it's easier to apply, but it's also easier to take off of the hair system. So I clean the base in between um, each reapplication and taking the tape off is just infinitely, infinitely easier than cleaning off this Walker Ultra Hold. So. I prefer this tape, it takes me about 30 minutes to take it off, clean my head, clean off the hair system, reapply some tape. Highly recommend this, it's just an easier process if you're taking off and reapplying yourself, which I think is, is something that you should know how to do and be able to do yourself. And then lastly is this stuff, Walker, again, Walker brand, Walker Tape C22 Solvent. I don't know this for sure, but I'm pretty sure this stuff is just the same as Goo Gone. <laughs> It's a, a solvent for adhesives. It's a citrus solvent, so it's not uh, like toxic any, in any way. If it does, it's it's made with oils, I think. Yeah, organic wetting agents, petroleum hydrocarbons, citrus oils, and lanolin. So if you do get it in your eyes, it's gonna hurt. Um, the first time I did this, I sprayed a bunch on the system inside my bathroom, and it was just sort of in the air, and I got in my eyes, and it was, uh, but. <laughs> all that being said it works really well and what it does is if you spray this through the hair system uh, onto the tape if you have a lace hair system of any type um, or a mono uh, it will cause the adhesive to dissolve essentially and and you could separate it easily from the base and so this stuff is really helpful and then the other thing too that I use after that in order to clean this stuff off of the hair system, I use a little bit of Dawn because Dawn's really gentle and um, it it works really well at uh, getting oils and things like that uh, off of surfaces. But there's one more thing I forgot. Let me grab that. This this was this was difficult to, to buy because it's expensive, but it's Color Protector Shampoo. So you want to get a really nice, high quality shampoo that is made for color treated hair. The reason for that is that I believe that most hair systems are color treated in some way. That's how they're able to get all of the different um, color options that they offer. Uh, but also the shampoo is just really high quality and it's gonna take care of the hair in your hair system and make it last a lot longer for you. So this Paul Mitchell stuff, I think this is like 
$17 for this bottle of shampoo, which was rough, especially since I'm used to paying a couple dollars, maybe $6 for a bottle of shampoo, you know, Head and Shoulders or Pantene or whatever it is. But this Paul Mitchell stuff was expensive. I will say though, I love the way it smells. It makes it makes me feel like I'm I like just left the salon, just left the barber and smelled nice and fresh. Oh, there, there is a difference between normal shampoo and really high quality shampoo, but that doesn't make it less expensive. So, but I do think that this is necessary if you want your hair system to last you a very long time. It doesn't have to be Paul Mitchell Color Protect. You can get any color protector, color shampoo that's specifically made for color treated hair. Uh, again, I'll leave links in the description below for some options. If you're watching this and you're thinking about getting a hair system, if you've got the money to do it, I'd say do it. You know, try it out. Everybody's comfortability and embarrassment level and, and thoughts about hair systems are different. For me, personally, I enjoy it. It's not something that I'm ashamed of. If someone asks, I'll tell them. I'm not going around, um, you know, flaunting it like, hey everybody, I'm wearing fake hair. But it's not something I hide either. Uh, you know, it looks real. I like the way it looks, I've gotten compliments, and everybody I tell, all of my friends, um, everybody I tell that it's fake, they're like, wow, I didn't know, I didn't realize, it looks great. And then that's it, you know? There's no embarrassment there or anything like that. So I think that you should not be afraid to try out a hair system. And if you think the people around you are gonna make fun of you, then maybe you need to reassess who you keep as friends and family. <laughs> but we're getting a little deep here, so I'll just leave it at that. I hope that this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, I'm not a uh, uh, professional or super knowledgeable about hair systems. I've only been wearing this one for about a month and a half, but if you have any questions about them, about the process, about anything like that, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Or uh, if anybody else watching this has the info and wants to answer as well, you know, feel free. That's all. I've been rambling for too long. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to create and explore. Bye.